Okay. Um, well, that's, that's not good. Um, it appears the governor won't be joining us today. We, we failed to get on our schedule, it seems, which is which is odd, but you know, we, we still have plenty of things to show you today. Uh, we already had that great valedictorian speech, and now uh, maybe, well, first, let me take a, a break to just apologize again for that, that awful accidental racial slur that I, I dropped, you know, at the beginning an hour ago, and uh, I'm, I'm just horrified for what I said, and I'm sorry for the firestorm that started in the comments, and you know, you don't want to be trending for, for something like that. And that's just not who I am. And I want to apologize one more time for anyone that I offended. That's just, that's from the deepest part of my heart. I'm sorry. All right. Um, oh, oh, my son, Jordan, he's, he's here. Thank you, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. No, no. Um, okay. Well, he's got the next part of our program. It appears we've got a slew of videos from our support staff. He's, I haven't got a chance to check them out because they're a little late showing up. But, you know, he's got a chance to look through all of them. He's got them in order for me. Thanks, buddy. Uh, we're going to start with um, Debbie Flozer, the coolest lady in school. You know, coolest overall. <laughs> Second to me, of course. But uh, here we go. Debbie Flozer wants to wish these students uh, a little something special as they move on to the next part of their education. Debbie? Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's your librarian coming to you straight from my living room. Uh, where I am newly TikTok famous. That's right, up to 50 followers. <laughs> no, no, um, no. Today's uh, not about me. Today's about you and all of your accomplishments. Uh, I could not be prouder of you. So to celebrate, I wrote you a rap because I'm not a typical librarian. I'm a cool librarian. So here goes. Hey. Kids, what do you know? You can't go to school and you gotta stay home. Keep reading them books, keep learning your stuff. It will be okay and it won't be tough. Pick up a book and take a trip to a faraway land or a pirate ship. You gotta keep on learning, cause if you do, you can be a pop star or a librarian too. Yeah, that's good. I know. <laughs> Might record it later. Um, um, so proud of you guys. Uh, keep reading this summer and can't wait to hear about all of your next adventures. Yeah, Debbie. That's, I like it. Okay, well, let's move on to the next person who wants to share something with you. And that's Coach Dennis. He wants to rev you up. And when you return to going to school next year instead of this virtual stuff, um, maybe you'll be ready to just get out there, get going, motivated. You know, hit the track, hit the books, do it right. Uh, so moving on, here's Coach Dennis. All right, all right, gather around, huddle up, listen to your gym teacher. Class of 2020, you think you're ready to graduate, go out into the real world. Well, I've seen your mile times. Most of you got a lot of manning up to do. We got maybe three winners in this whole class. Hogan, Hoffman, Schultz, that's it. The rest of you better man up or you're gonna end up like that Bobert kid crying alone on the sidelines with your finger halfway up your nose. You better put more work into the rest of your life than you put into climbing that rope or else you're in big trouble. Now get out there, show me some hustle for a change. Let's go! Hmm. No, no, no. That's just not what St. Ignatius is all about. We don't call students out by name at their commencement, coach. No, I apologize to all the families out there, and I want you to know that you're just the best group of igniters this school's seen to date. So let's move on to somebody you actually know better than I do, seeing as you ride the bus with them every day, and that's uh, Morris Hargrove. Uh, let's hear what Morris has to say. Well, see, the thing is here, I'm the... I like to consider myself the G-A-O-A-T or the B-U-S. I'll go to the bus. So when it comes down to when people gotta go from one spot to another, there ain't nothing but me and my six wheels on the road, and we're spinning, we're spinning. That's where we're going. And if ain't anybody gonna be happy about it, then it's gonna be me, because I started this shit. Oh, I started oh, uh, it. Oh, no, no, not leaving, how do I? We're going to the championship, yeah. man. We're going to the championship, USA. USA. Okay, well, uh, and it looks like Morris didn't understand the uh, the program and what we were asking of him. We definitely didn't want him to be drinking an adult beverage or sitting in his PJs at home. Um, let's just move on, okay? Uh, Mike from our food staff is uh, wanting to say a few things, and he's always been a really heartfelt, deep-seated, emotional person. I'm sure he's just got a wonderful words of wisdom to pass on as you move on uh, in your education. Hey kids, it's, uh, it's Mikey. I 
some of y'all might not recognize me without the hairnet, but uh, just wanted to say hey. Uh, strange not having y'all around. Kind of miss you guys. Um, it... Oh, yeah. Mike, you can get a little emotional. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit. Uh, you... Who, who's going to eat all this cream corn? This is for you, class of 2020. For you, class of 2020. You know, I think I better call the police and just do a welfare check on Mike there. He's, uh, some of us have been at home by ourselves for, you know, 10, 12 weeks at this point, and he's, he doesn't seem to be handling it well. Um, I think at the moment, though, the best thing for us to do is watch the next video while I call the police. Um, I'm not sure who's next, but let's just, let's just roll it. Hey, guys, your shop teacher, Mr. McCracken here. But guess what? From now on, you can call me Phil. Ha! How about that? Because you're out of school now. We're on a first name basis. Bet you didn't think that would ever happen. <laughs> no, seriously, don't don't call me Mr. McCracken anymore, like on the street or anything, because it's just weird. It's just weird. Anyway, uh, Miss Schmelka, or Schmecka, Miss Schmecka, sorry. <laughs> Schmecka heck a high little honey hoe. Uh, she, she wanted me to make you guys a, a little video, you know, maybe a couple little words of wisdom to send you on your way as a class of 2020. And I want to start it out with, one, you're only as good as your ability to cover up mistakes. Huh? Huh? Let those wheels turn for a second. Second is, uh, you know, things aren't always as they seem. Like, for example, Miss Schmecka's new baby might have something to do with my recent surgery. <laughs> snip, snip. <laughs> See you guys, and congratulations. How's going there, Class 2020? I just want to say uh, congratulations on uh, graduating during these trying times. And now, not all of you may recognize me, but I'm sure you recognize my, my handiwork around the campus, uh, from, from trimming hedges to making sure that the, the football field uh, stays in tip-top shape. Now. I put a lot of work into making sure that your school looks good. And now I only have one piece of advice for you as you take this next step into adulthood, and that is there are many paths in life that one can take. And kind of like the path that leads right up to school that you lazy bastards keep avoiding by walking through the grass that I have watered and taken care of and nurtured. Some of you will take the right path. Some of you will take the wrong path, and I hope that that path leads directly to you living in a dilapidated shack with your inconsiderate family and you all have holes in your shoes and burrs in your hair. Only you have the power to decide. Or don't. I Hey! Stay off the grass! Okay, uh, I'm sorry I missed that entire last clip. I was just calling the police to make sure they had all of Mark's information. He's going to be okay, I, I, I promise you. Um, uh, I hope that last one brought something special into your life. But uh, now we're moving on, it appears, to Mark Gorshma, our custodian. He's been with St. Ignatius for a long time. He's known a lot of families, a lot of kids, and he's got something for you. Oh, hey, kids. It's me, your favorite school custodian. Just keeping my skills sharp during quarantine. Congratulations to the St. Clementis graduating class of 2020. These have been trying and unprecedented times, but with courage and perseverance, you made it through to the end of the school year. And for that, I salute you. I would encourage you to do something uh, positive and constructive with your time right now. Don't just sit around having fun, thinking you got all the time in the world. Because one minute, you got cops at your door because you sent prostitutes over to your manager's house when he fired you from the Baskin Robbins for stealing the little plastic uh, sample spoons. Jordan, I, I, you, you know, watch these. Years later, no, 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 no. Get over here. Dogs. I don't know how to, fast, how to stop here. this thingy. I would encourage you to volunteer at a local organization of your choice. There are all kinds of wonderful organizations uh, everywhere, lots of them that have initials for names like the FFA or the NWA or the KKK. So again, do something with your time. Congratulations on uh, graduating from St. Clammy Titch, class of 2020. Congratulations, and remember, 
No running in the hallways. Well, obviously, Mark no longer works for St. Ignatius. I don't even know where he got St. Clematis. But uh, he's, he doesn't represent what this school is about and what we've been teaching these children all year long. So let's just move on to the last one. My son promises me that this is a good one. And uh, it's from everyone, that, someone we know and love, crossing guard for our district. She's been shuttering your kids to and fro all year long. And I'm sure she's got just something wonderful to send our kids out on. Hello, class of 2020. It's me, your crossing guard, Miss Darlene. I sure have missed seeing all of your shining little faces. Jo Jordan, would you, would you press? Um, Come unlock this keyboard well, right now. You, you think this is funny? These um, are preschoolers, goddammit! People will say that a crossing guard is not necessary. That kids are smart enough to cross the street on their own. Um, but in my professional opinion, that is not true. Um, like Kyle. Oh no. You know, oh I, no. I think we all know Kyle. Uh, Kyle was almost hit 50 times last year by a car. Um, I'm just out here saving lives every day and I think most of you appreciate it. You really do and um, that means a lot to me but there are some of you that are more difficult than others. Um, I mean I hate to name names but the, um, there's Madison and Caitlin. Um, <laughs> you guys jaywalk every day. You guys are the worst kind of people. You really are. Uh, honestly if I had a time machine um, the first thing I would do is go back in time and try to prevent your parents from breeding. I would tell them not to have kids. It's, it's not going to be worth it to bring these two little kids into the world. Um, yep, I, I would do Madison first and then Caitlin and then Hitler. I'd get Hitler. I'd get Hitler. Um, but you're worse than Hitler. You're worse than Hitler. Oh, and speaking of Hitler, yeah, Tristan. Yeah, we all remember you, Tristan. There was that one time you stole my sign and my whistle, and he marched around, and you were like, oh, I'm the crossing guard, oh, I'm the crossing guard, and just making fun of me. I hated that. I hate you. Remember what you did to my car? It was on the news. Everybody remembers that. I hate you. I hate you so much. I have no trouble coming to your house to wring your neck. I would sleep with one eye open because the crossing guard's coming for you. Parents, I'm, I'm sorry. Let me just apologize right now and say that Darlene's fired. My son's going to military school and well, screw it. You know, whatever. Hmm.